<laughs> no cursing. What? Oof. Oh, God, what an idiot. Uh, some dirt. And this is where he found out he fucked up. Already getting fucking OCD and a pin, two goddamn pins. Smart. Who wants to watch me do something stupid? Welcome back to CSM TV, and we are back working on the harness. I know last time we were getting everything organized. I did take a nice little panel out of my table here. I'll get to that in a second. But where we left off, is trying to organize some of these wires. Got everything organized and labeled, so anything that had uh, um, the same color, I actually labeled for their pins on the uh, on the uh, PDM or ECU, wherever they go. So, I know where all that stuff goes. Yeah, PDM, ECM, all labeled. Everything I have confirmed and double-checked. So it seems like it's good to go. I had a couple things I had to fix. Just had to pull out a couple wires that I had extra in there that didn't need to be there that I accidentally put in. And then add, add some wires for some... Uh, it's on the PDM side. There's a couple couple spots that take two pins and just kind of missed adding in extra wire so easy fixes everything seems to be good as far as I know let's hope so everything's been double checked at least I'm feeling pretty pretty good about it actually so main thing we're gonna do today or in this video I should say because it might take me more than a day like it always does you know but anyways, what we're doing is the uh, disconnect. Got everything labeled here. Use these, uh, these ideal labels, which I've had since I did the last disconnect. But make things pretty easy, except for I think it sucks. Is these are in letters and uh, these are in numbers. So that's kind of fun, but it's not that bad. So we're actually ready to do our cut. I've checked and double checked, made sure everything is labeled and has the same label for each side. It's ready to do our cut. But I think since I pulled this panel out so I can work a little bit easier and not have to move the harness too much, but probably should have taped up everything before I got into uh, moving stuff around. So I think I'm going to go ahead and actually do that. Get everything taped up, which I kind of started on. So we'll get it taped up so if it moves around anymore, we don't have to worry about where our breakout's at. And I can use our uh, our sheet here where all our breakout's at. Go over that and then uh, we can get our lengths for where, where I need to tape actually each joint. So yeah, we'll go through that and uh, get back with you. All right, so we got this breakout ready to be taped up. Um, real quick, I figure I'd go over... Uh, the tape I'm using, it's a uh, it's called Kapton tape. It's uh, really thin, so when uh, you put your Raycam over it, it doesn't actually show up or it doesn't actually leave a residue or anything. It's high temp tape. So this is what I have. Bought it off Amazon. It's got, I think, four different sizes. Yeah, four pack. Four different sizes. I've only been really using the uh, two middle sizes, which seem to work out really well, but. This is pretty nice. Um, I'm used to using electrical tape for the most part. It's what we use at my at my work. But this stuff, since we don't actually use Raycan there, so. But since you're using Raycan, this stuff's real nice, and it won't really show like a 
a tape line. And then it also doesn't leave any residue when, you know, you make mistakes and have to pull everything back apart and cut it up. So that's nice too. But we'll go ahead and uh, tape this joint up. Just like I said, checked our measurements on our sheet, which is good to keep, obviously. And uh, got 15 inches here to here, which zip ties stayed in place. And then I double checked all our measurements out here to make sure all that stuff was kind of in the same spot. So looks like we're all good to go. Go ahead and uh, tape this in real quick. All right, there's our taped in trunk there. So it's okay. Um, be a lot better if I did a twist, but I didn't want to twist the wire with everything else that I had going on and get, uh, get even further behind than I already am and try something that crazy. So if I ever redo it, then maybe I'll try it on the next one. We'll see, which probably won't ever redo it unless it's fucked up. So yeah, I tried to get in, um, get the tape in where the uh, where these blends are at to just give it an extra strain relief to it so then if it gets moving around in the harness too much that that tape will actually hold it there and we'll see it should be fine obviously with the heat shrink but little extra protection always good so see how that works out and uh yeah we'll get the rest of this taped in and get started on that guy Alright, got everything taped up, so ready to go, ready to go ahead and uh, make our cut for this harness, so toss this down here. See if we can make a clean cut. Alrighty. That's not too bad. Now we can just uh, strip the wires and get to pinning. Right, all the wires are stripped except for the cam and crank sensors. Um, these are actually shielded wire so in order to get these let's see here so the wire has a shielded wire around it got to strip all this out to get to the other wire which I guess I could strip that real quick so we'll need to uh, get a uh, cut that down strip it down get another piece of wire on there get it in there so we'll go over actually this one cam and crank both have it so kind of show you how to do that in this guy so that's basically what it looks like then I need to get all this shielding off here which is usually a pretty good time I do turn it off. All right, so yeah, fuck fucking around. I don't know why I just didn't do this in the first place. All right, so. Now 
now that that's done, get our other wire ready. This is a regular 20 gauge wire that we're just going to crimp on. Regular old barrel crimp. and tight. Alright, got both of these crimped on here. Now we just need to add some heat shrink. We'll be good to go for that side. Alright, there we go. So we can just pin those in to each other on the other side and that'll finish that up. All right, got everything ready to go, ready for pins. And I uh, got the fans on too, so just gonna have to deal with it because I'm fat and hot, so. All right, um, so this side is gonna get our uh, mail connector that this will bolt to the firewall with this guy. So this unscrews. And that gets the female pins like that. The other side gets the male pins that goes inside. So yeah, and there's the uh, female connector. And crimper I'm using is this, uh, this guy I got from Amazon. It does pretty good, but one thing I did notice, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, let's just the test cramp. Hey, I did notice with this tool, stick it, you gotta be kind of careful because when it bottoms out, it actually goes in way too far. So you gotta kind of guide it to where it'll crimp. It needs to be for this tool right about flush. And there it actually crimps the pin. So yeah, when you get a crimping tool, do some test crimps so you don't fuck some shit up. Alright, we'll get to it. Alright, got everything pinned, ready to go in. First, on this side, the harness, we're going to have to get some, uh, get some covering on here. So, I got all of it ready to go, basically. And real quick, I'll show you how I figured out the uh, length. It's so actually, took this little mock-up guy, put it in, um, put it in our connector. And that's kind of my safe area of where I needed to be. So, lined it up here. Got a rake him. 
DR25. It's going to sit right about there, right to the end of it. So that's kind of our safe area there. And then we got this boot that's going to go on actually after the uh, uh, strain relief. And that goes on, goes on there. And uh, we'll shrink it all down once that's good to go and checked. So before we start pinning, we need to get all this stuff on and get her on. All right, there she is. She is pinned in. And uh, yeah, memory card got full, so didn't get a full, uh, kind of died like right at the beginning, but it's whatever. Don't really need to see any of that. So basically what I did here was uh, just kind of pinned this side in. Whichever way it, uh, the wires wanted to kind of flow to keep it organized. I didn't try to like line up uh, numerically where like one went with A or whatever. So it was just easier that way. I was trying to do that at the beginning, but notice the wires weren't going to line up well that way. So better to go with the flow on this. And like I said, it just needs to connect, you know, to the other wire. So not a big deal. Um, did have a buddy help me out tone it out and uh, everything is good where it goes everything's where it should be so now we're ready to uh, tape this thing up and uh, that'll be it for this I don't know if I'm gonna heat shrink it yet I might wait till I test the entire harness so yeah we'll get it taped up and bring it back in all right there she is all taped up this end too Try to get a bunch on there just to uh, make sure, since there's no real strain relief, and that's basically the only strain relief, so try to get it nice and taped in so it won't move around too much, try to pull out or anything like that. So next thing will be uh, moving on to this trunk. I got a couple things, a couple small things I got to uh, finish up first. That'll probably do it for this video. So, uh, try to make it a little shorter. We'll see. And then we'll get into, well, on the next one, we'll get into, uh, pinning the ECM over here, ECM and, uh, the, uh, PDM and get to, uh, covering everything else. So hopefully it'll move along pretty quick at this point. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.